if you could crush it in business using strategic content. Ooh, that word, content. It's all the rage these days and everybody wants to know about it and where to find it and how to optimize it and how much you should do and what you really need to be focusing on and what's your big content like strategy and oh my gosh and then you need to do videos and you get to do chat bots and you should be oh my gosh you actually should really be doing email and you should be on all five major social media networks how do you possibly handle it all oh my gosh you guys hang around hang on hang on with me if you're here make sure you say hello you are at the Aaron Strayer show and this is where we talk about all kinds of things um, with amazing female entrepreneurs and we are all about uh, uplifting and leveraging them to be out there in the world sharing what they do we talk about hot topics like content pain points like content and SEO oh like your pits are already sweating I'm sure right we give you workarounds our guest today is so educated has so many tips has so many workarounds so many so many pro tips that she just is like amazing I cannot wait for you to meet her I'm Erin Strayer, dun, dun, dun. recovering corporate female entrepreneurs hire me to get past the now what stage of business because most are scared, confused, and playing small, so I help them revitalize, rejuvenate, and reignite their passion, providing sassy, transformational actions and solutions to put the zip back in their business. I'm gonna give our guest a little three second warning here. Here she comes. So if you are watching from any other platform, other than the Aaron Strayer show, da, da, da. go ahead and click that link right up above. Come on over here and say hi to us. Um, we'll be able to see you once you're on the Aaron Strayer platform. Kim Bolstra, Bolsma. I always put a T in your name, an extra T. Yeah. I, re I rearrange okay. your name for you. I rearrange it's it. It's Boltsma. Yeah, you're right. It's Boltsma. Yeah. Like Bolt and then Sma. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of consonants. It's awesome, though. <laughs> Hi, friend. Like, I cannot wait to talk about you. And um, you are a self-proclaimed lover of coffee. Self-proclaimed. You and your company is called a cu Cup of Content. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. We're going to talk all about that. And we're going to talk more about why it's called a Cup of Content. Yeah. <laughs> we have all kinds of people on with us already. Um, and yeah, hey, um, but you didn't always just talk about content and SEO, like fill me in. Who are you? All right. Well, uh, so I retired from teaching <laughs> in 2011. I taught high school and college level English and journalism for 10 years. Um, daughter was born in end stage kidney failure. My husband was mandatory staff at the Nebraska Medical Center here in Omaha. It was hard for both of us working demanding jobs to be there for our kids. So I left teaching and started my own business. Uh, the first, the other business I have is called Content a la Mode, where I do content marketing for businesses like SEO and uh, ghost blogging, social media strategy implementation, all that kind of stuff. And then I found out that I would meet with people and they're like, I want to pick your brain, Kim. So I'm like, okay, this sounds great. I like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I like coffee. So, yeah, right? So yeah. we meet for coffee and essentially they really wanted to pick my brain. They wanted me to teach them how to do what I did over a cup of coffee I bought myself. And I was like, hmm, hmm. I can capitalize on this and I have a teaching degree. So I created a cup of content, which is a membership platform where people subscribe, pay $30 a month, and I um, teach them how to do what I do for their own business. And it's super exciting. I just, I love like watching my members succeed and grow their business and be happy about it and learn over a cup of their favorite beverage. Cause that's, I try to keep things small, short, cause I know, you know, when you're in your own business, you know this, Aaron time is precious. And, you know, if you're going to put time, you know, we're always working in our business, we have to make the time to work on our business. So that's, that's kind of a little bit about a cup of content. It's so true. And I know there's, um, we have a mutual, uh, really big friend that's on watching with us today, RJ, who um, she's cloned you. Um, 
SEO Oprah, SEO Oprah. <laughs> and I love that. I, I love that. I'm like, she is so the Oprah of SEO. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> and oh. I just, you know, the whole SEO thing is so scary to so many people. Mm -hmm. And um, where do you start and where do you find and what, you, you know what I mean? Like we all want to crush it. We all want to succeed. We all want mm -hmm. everybody on the face of this round marble to see every single piece of, of consonants put together that we, that we write. We all want everybody in the world to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah so seriously, I mean, it's so tough. Yeah, it is, but it doesn't have to be. And I think that, you know, you know, this is especially with video or any sort of content, the, the biggest fear is just doing it mm -hmm. like, you know, like, yeah. Oh, you know, I talked to so many businesses and small business owners and they're like, but I just I'm not good on camera. Well, have you been on camera before? No. Well, how do you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. And, you know, you can totally you can be prepared, you you know, and it, it doesn't it doesn't take as much effort as what people think it does if you work smart. Uh, so, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Smart, being efficient, maximizing your time. Like that's, that's like key right there too, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Time. Yeah. And yeah. you know, that's one of the topics we're going to talk about today. Yeah. <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. And I've got, I've got it. So I want everybody while, until we get to that point, to guess how much time you you could spend in uh, doing content for your business in a month if you knew what to do. Say that Does that make sense? Time. Yep. So I want you guys to while. Wow. Oops. Where'd she go? She wanted. Oh. Where'd you go? Hang on. She's coming back. Somehow she slipped back to the green room. I don't know how that happened. Hi, hi, you're back up live again. Did Kimball's you need a snack? Did you need a snack from the green room? No, like you were gone and then I was there and I'm like, wait, where'd you go? <laughs> okay, so what I was saying was I want you guys, while, until we get to that part, to take a little stab, like how many hours would it take you to do your own content for your business in a month if you knew how to do it? Ooh. If you had the right tools to do it. I'm going to write a number down. Okay. Yeah. So keep everybody write a number down and we're going to get, we'll get to that here in a little bit. There's the teacher and me coming out. Okay. okay. I got to dangle number. the carrot and keep them on viewing this. Oh my oh. gosh. Where are Where we? Are okay. We? okay. okay. So Jake, we, are we are here, here. broadcasting from the Aaron Strayer show. So if you are not on the Aaron Strayer show page, there's a link right above you in the comments. Go ahead and click that and come on over here. But if you're commenting here, I can see you. So you're already here. That's yeah, and you're you're in Michigan, right? I'm in Michigan. You're in Nebraska. Yep. Different yeah. time zones. Different We're time, time warping. I know. It's cool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's really cool. It's so cool. Like technology is super cool. But let's like like we can co totally go left there. But I want to stay on this because I wrote my number down. Okay. Did you yeah. guys all did you guys all write your number down? We're gonna go forward and then we're gonna come back to this. How much time? Yep. How much time, if you knew what to do from a content standpoint, how much time do you think it would take you a month to write it and get it all taken care of? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. Got it. Yeah. Well, let's start, right? Where yeah. do you find the content ideas? Right. Because that's tough too. I mean, if you're not a writer, I'm not a writer. I'm a talker. I'm not a writer. <laughs> But you know what? I hear that from a lot of people and I'm glad you brought it up because it's not one of the things I put on my list. Um, for those of you who are really great at talking, but you feel like when you sit at the computer and you type it out and you're like, ew, gross. Um, what I would do, um, use, uh, there's all sorts of applications out there that you can use to speak into that will dictate what you're saying. Google Documents, Google Docs is one of them. They have a microphone in there. If you click the microphone and just start talking to it, it will dictate out everything for you. Okay. Really? What's the Google Docs? Yeah. Yeah. It's just in Google Docs. It, um, there's like a dictation. Um, I can't remember exactly what the menu settings are on it, but there's a dictation. Cool. Yeah, I know. Super cool. And I've, I've recommended that to several people and they've all come back like, oh my gosh, 
I'm cranking out blog posts now because I just speak into Google Docs and it writes it all down for me. And that then would I'm be me. It and, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That would be me. It, because yeah. the, the other cool thing, so much, t so much of my time, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. Like I don't have a signal, you know. And yeah. when my brain is like really pumping out the the blah blah blah, ninety percent of the time I don't have a pen. It looks all funky when I start to write it down on paper. Anyway, I spell mm -hmm. stuff wrong, so I stop. Right, like all the things that stop me from creating content. Yep. So yeah. great, great, great. Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, um, make sure you have some sort of a place where when you're not in front of your computer, you're, that you can access it from your phone, that you have a place to put the ideas for your content. Mm -hmm. Because we all probably have been there where it's like, I'll remember that later. And then yeah. later you're like, it's oh, what happened? happened. I know yeah, I need one of those, those waterproof pens for the shower. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, so I use like Asana. I have a, I've created a Kanban board in Asana. I know RJ does it in Trello, but I just keep all my ideas in one list. And then man, I'm plugging them into different places and I don't have to think about it. I've got a resource that I've already created. Yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. Idea. Um, yeah. Susan, Susan's like, oops, bad, my bad. She's, she's right where she's supposed to be, but she said she yeah. agrees. The same with uh, referring to Wi-Fi and the connections. She sends herself texts with the idea. So yeah, and it's Perfect, beautiful. Susan. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's exactly. absolutely. Figure out a way that's easy and do it. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, love no more that. excuses. Just do it. Yeah. Now another a, a great place to find information to write for our content ideas is Feedly. Ooh. Yeah. So it's F E E D L Y. Um, it is an RSS. Uh, is it yeah. .com? Yep. Feedly.com. It's an, um, it's an RSS feed that you can subscribe to people's blog posts and stuff. And why not, you know, if you're, are you follow some people in your niche and see what they're doing and maybe mm -hmm. you've got a similar idea, but you've got a different spin on it, you know, right. and that makes your research a whole lot easier. That Feedly yeah. is something that you could scroll through on the toilet. <laughs> because you know? that's where like, inspiration comes to. I mean, let's just be real here. We all do it. Our phones are never, I mean, half of us, this is our alarm clock, right? Like we don't even yeah. have like, it's never more than an arm's length away and otherwise you have cardiac failure, um, <laughs> right? right? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and so why not utilize it? Yeah, right. Yeah. And I, I just saw Gail, yeah, Evernote, Evernote you know, whatever great. system you guys are using that works for you, create a content ideas page or board or whatever and start plugging some stuff in there. Yeah. But yeah, Feedly is a great place for it. And you can, like I said, subscribe to your competitors. There is nothing wrong with that. You just add their um, website into Feedly and it will create a feed for you so you can see what they're doing. And that's something we should be doing anyway as business owners is watching what our competition is doing. Market research. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, because maybe I mean copy their content. It means exactly. what they're doing. Right, yeah, because no duplicate content. No right. duplicate content. Yep. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, and you know, another thing too, you know, I know a lot of you guys, probably you too, Aaron, you know, when when people ask you about like what, you know, what are some of the things that, what are what is a way you can help me? Yeah. And you've got probably a list of several ways, right? right. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the kinds of things that you're already giving away, right? As sure. education. Sure. Why not start using those as content pieces? Because we don't want to be like Jane Powers, you know, because you and I, she called, we're, we're overloaders. We're overloaders. We you are overloaders. We love so Jane. much information away because we know it's beneficial. And I especially have a hard time with that because I'm a former teacher. I was paid to give all my knowledge away. Now I have to make them pay me to give them that knowledge. But yeah, I mean, if you're already answering questions with your clients and customers or potential clients and customers, write those in your little Asana board or whatever and start creating blog posts out of them or emails or videos. I mean, those kinds of things are great about page video content, mm -hmm. right? The things you're already answering over and over again. Yeah. I know yeah. Janice, Janice is here. She says, I find I that find my that Comes, comes comes to me when I need it the most. It's uh, organic. It's more organic than research. Yeah, it, there's no downside to that. Yeah. No, I don't think so, man. If it's coming to you, go for it. 
But if you're at a point, you know, where it, it's not coming to you and you've, or you've already, you know, you've got this list of, okay, I had five things come to me for this blog post, but I cannot write this five, you know, 50 scroll blog post. I'm going to chunk that out and create more content out of it. Yeah. 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 Yep. So did everybody write down how much time that they wanted to, thought they needed to spend if they had the right tools to create content? Raise your hand. I want to see a hand up in the comments before we roll farther with that. So um, where do you want to go now, girl, Miss Boltzma? Well, I'm going to it's give you one, one more little place to look. Yeah. Google, Google Trends. If you go to trends.google.com and type in your content, I mean, your your niche or whatever. If I, if I type in, if I were RJ and I typed in chatbots, I'd be able to see what how people are searching for that. I mean, Ooh. it's Google. They're giving to you how people are searching their search engine and start creating content based off of that. Interesting. So, so okay, let's stick there for just a second. So if mm -hmm. I wanted to know about leadership, yep, that's all I would put in there. And it would You're gonna come get up. probably a lot of stuff because it's pretty, gen, you know, it's general. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can, you know, if you, you'll get used to it as you kind of start to, um, you as you start to use the the tool, you'll learn that how you need to in input some of the words and all that stuff. But oh, it's that's great. I mean, it takes a little getting used to because it's really different. But they'll give you like all of the search, like the keyword phrases people are using. Um, they'll give you where at in the world these are coming from. Oh, what yeah. times of year people search for them over others? Because some of it might be seasonal. Nice. So yeah. that pulls right into why the information is important. Mm -hmm. Why we need to be like in tune with that, right? Like yeah. to optimize, you know, and hit that SEO. Yes. Yes. Right. Because like that, yeah. If you're looking for something right now that's a hot topic on Google mm -hmm. and you're creating a video and putting it on YouTube, which is another place to find, you know, content, but you're putting a video out there on Google or on YouTube, you're writing a blog post about it, you're getting in when it's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what that does for me then is up my views. People are interested in it. They start sharing it. And moves your website up in search. Yeah. And that's ultimately the goal here is to be visible, to get found. Yeah. You, I mean, these tools are free, you guys. I mean, you can pay for the Feedly, but you don't need to. These are free tools that you already have yeah. at your disposal. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Right, Janice? Janice you know, Janice likes so exciting. I know. I know. Yeah. So it's like for me, I love that the dictating mm -hmm. com. Yep. huge for me. Like yeah. ding, 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 winner. Yep. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. Because I get stopped in my tracks so often and um, content for me is just like, okay, well just strip the audio off of here and let's go. Right. And then it's mm -hmm. like, well, how do I do that? And then I get stuck again. And then how do I, right? Like, <laughs> cause I'm like yeah. everybody else. I'm like, oh, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I was only, I only did, yeah, surgery. And you know what that's called? <laughs> What's that? Paralysis by analysis. Uh-huh. We will paralyze ourselves from doing things by over. Mm -hmm. So use these tools. I mean, I haven't given you total specifics on how to use them, but they're out there. Yeah. If you join a cup of content, you'll learn that. See, mm -hmm. I'm not being an overloader right now. It's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm proud of you. Good job. So, so can we, can we go into how much time? Is yeah. That? Yeah. Can do that. Yeah. How much time do you really need to spend generating content if you have the right tools, tools at your disposal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody put their number that they thing in the comment. I'm, yeah, I'm put, how many I'm hours do you think it should take you a month? to generate content, a month? schedule it out, share it's it. A month? It's a month. My number yeah. changed. Yep. Um, okay. My number changed. I was thinking a week. So oh, put your number in the comments. Put some numbers in the comments. 
Oh, we got five. I put 12. Paralysis by analysis. Cindy's Cindy's in for the win. Yep. Cindy's <laughs> one of my members and she is killing it. She is Good. one of those people that puts herself out there. Good job. Oh, Vanessa mm -hmm. says five. Come on, help us out, people that are on here. How many? Oh, eight hours a month from Janice. Mm -hmm. Gail says 10 to 20 to do the whole process. Mm -hmm. 20 from Barb. Wow, we're all over the board here. Anybody in the ballpark? Yeah, actually, there are a couple. Um, three to five hours For a real? month. That's it. Three I can to do five hours. Mm -hmm. Yep. For and, a whole month. Yeah, yeah. And the reason why I have that little bit of a three to five is because depending on what your skill level is with a couple of things, like video, uh -huh. like if you're someone who produces video, that's probably going to take you an hour or two. Sure. Right. You know, live shows are a little bit different, but there's a lot of prep time and you know that. There's so that's, that's kind of a little mm -hmm. on the outskirts of what I suggested, but you can write a 300 word blog post in one hour. Come on. 300 words is not even a full Microsoft word document, single spaced. 300 words. That's all you need for SEO, a minimum of 300 words. Yeah, you do want to get some of the long form content stuff in there every once in a while, but. What's long form? So long form content is the, you know, four, five, six scroll. Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, for example, long form, um, it's, sometimes it's called cornerstone content too. I mean, they can be kind of the same thing. So cornerstone content is where um, it's something that you're constantly keeping updated all the time. So I have a blog post about where you can find royalty free for commercial use stock photography. Beautiful. So I'm constantly updating that. So it's cornerstone content and it gets longer and it's longer. Right. And so that stuff has a lot of weight because of what, you know, I'm using the keyword phrase of free stock for, you know, free stock photography. And now I've got all this content on it. I keep, pointing to it frequently throughout the year mm -hmm. from a social media standpoint, right? Yeah, I mean, if you write your blog posts right, you should be able to pick apart an entire month's worth of social media from it, from one blog post. And that would take you an hand. hour. Yeah, right? That, that yeah, should take you an hand. hour. Just that, your hand. <laughs> that could take you an hour, maybe two, if you write it and schedule it. Wow. Right? That's why I talk about big content. Yeah. If you put some time into the big pieces of content, you've got tons of stuff you can pick out of it. Yeah. 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 So wow. yeah, like uh, Vanessa at onset, it would take the learning curve hours to do and time decreases once you're in the groove and that's, she's totally right. Yeah. It's learning how to do it. So, you know, I can easily crank out, a month's worth of uh, social media, three or four posts a week, or excuse me, four or five posts a week, blog post, um, email, throw the email in there. It'd take me maybe three hours. Wow. Yeah. I, well, I'm sure it's just like everything else. Once you learn it, just like Vanessa was saying, once you learn it and that mm -hmm. learning curve is mastered, yep. that's when it just happens. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And like Gail said, batching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is why I always suggest about some time in your calendar, literally schedule the time, social media, writing and scheduling. Yeah, definitely. Do not schedule over it and use that time to write and schedule all of your content for the next month. All right, you guys, Stack everybody hashtag, hashtag SE Oprah on that one. <laughs> SE Oprah. Hashtag, I love that. I, I want to see it. I want to <laughs> see every one of you guys doing that. Hashtag SE Oprah right there. That oh is gosh. a pro tip. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you know, we, in a cup of content we cover, that's something I cover is how do you blog for SEO? Everything I do is from an SEO search engine optimization standpoint. Um, social media optimization is called SMO. And that's how I look at social media. Yes, I want to get engagement. Yes, this and that. But I want to drive traffic to my website 
get my search. That is the goal yeah. because ultimately they're going to search on Google. They're going to search on YouTube. They're going to see, you know, they're going to follow a hashtag on Instagram. I want to be there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we are coming down hot and heavy on our time here. Miss. Ms. Oh yeah, that's right. Ooh. Ms. Oprah. Ms. Okay. Ms. Oprah. Yeah. So I really want to talk about some really super exciting things that you got going on. You have, I know you have a show also yeah, I have a that is, shows. yep. You have a show that it runs. Um, it's called the coffee break. That is uh, Wednesdays at tell me the time again. Cause I can't, it's 1130 it. central standard time. AM. Yep. 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 And that's every Wednesday. Kim gives so much amazing information during this uh, coffee break uh, every Wednesday. Seriously, you guys hop on and watch her. You can sign up for her bot. RJ's on here if you want help setting that up. She's on here too, so you can get reminders to uh, get onto Kim's show. Um, um, what else is coming up for you? Um, I did start about a month or two ago a second show. It's called Content Plus Coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Content Plus Coffee, I just talk about content, all things content. The Coffee Break Live is content marketing. So I talk about social media and SEO, all sorts of stuff. But then, What's that? I'm making an announcement on your show today, Aaron, that I'm really excited about. I'm like, like come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Erica. Oh, that's early. I don't You can always watch the replay. <laughs> Get on my bot. And replay, and yeah, body uh, always. <laughs> yeah, right? You don't have to show up live. Just show up in your pajamas. Come on. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Um, behind me, I don't know if you noticed, can, I think everybody can see that. I think I got it in the camera. Um, I am going to start an IGTV series tomorrow da, da, da. called Video Plus Coffee. And I'm going to talk about all sorts of video techniques from software, equipment, live show stuff, all that, just more tips and tricks on the video realm. It's going to be a series that I'm going to run on IGTV. So if you go to videopluscoffee.com, um, you will be able to see kind of the landing page for it. All my shows will show up there. I think if you go there right now and click on the, the blog post that's associated with it to talk about the show, you'll see Aaron, you'll see us in the actual blog post. So but yeah, so I wanted, I just wanted to have a little something fun to share with all you guys and as a thank you and a thank you to Aaron for having me on. But I'm really excited about this. I know Aaron knows this. You guys, when you put yourself out there, your business will grow. You mm. just have to start. Ask RJ. <laughs> yeah. RJ used to do like 365 days a year of live stuff. And she's like, oh, I'm so burned out. And I'm like, it's because you did too much. You know, just get started. And she probably will tell you now that she started doing it again in, you know, a, a time frame that works for her. That's not so overwhelming. She's getting business. And but the more I put myself out there, the more my business grows. You have like people want this. They want to virtually handshake with us. And and here's the thing, too. We all um, we are doing the world a disservice by hiding. Yeah, we are. So, and you're people, doing your business a disservice by massive hiding. Massive disservice to yourself and your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And every yeah, single I mean, one of us have information to share, people. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Oh. I know. I know. We could go on and on and on. All right. Yeah. What else? You got more going on. Yeah, I well, I mean, that, those are the things like and check that, check this out. I never know what she's gonna do. <gasps> New equipment. But for Instagram TV, look, look at oh oh, don't fall over, don't fall over. But you guys, it's not. I, I mean, I have a, I have a nice camera because I'm a camera snob. But this is doable, guys, and it's not that much money. Beautiful. Like you can I'm, make it look professional massive. for not much money. And honestly, no one's really going to, they're not going to care how, they're not, they're not going to care what you'll look like. They're going to want to care about the content and you 
inside Mm -hmm. in here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I, I can use this stuff all I want and whatever, but putting yourself out there, take this stuff and just do it. Write out some bullet points on a piece of paper, make that part of it less stressful and just do it. Just, just do it. it. Mm. I feel like a Nike ad here. (laughs) Do it people. Put yourself out there. Just do it. Kim, (laughs) we are hot on the end of our show. I, we could obviously, maybe this is going to be a multiple um, do over, like not do over an addition. Maybe there'll be an addition number two. Or okay. maybe the, right. Or I'm maybe in. there'll be a month, monthly, a monthly edition, the Aaron and Kim show. Um, <laughs> right. Maybe, right. Yeah. So closing words. What else? Where can people find you? Where can they come hang out with you? What do you got that you want to share with the people? Yeah. I mean, if you go online to a cup of there's a beautiful pink button at the top that says start my free trial. You can get a full 14 day free trial, no credit card required. You can come into the back end of a cup of content. And if you do, you have to promise me you're going to join the Facebook group for members only. You get that. You get everything as part of it. You get the forum. You get all the courses that I've done up until this point. You get access to me. Yeah. And I even have a little, yeah, a cup of content.com slash the Aaron Strayer show. And that will lead you right to the the free trial. And, um, but really I, I got a couple members who are watching this today and you can ask any of them. I mean, this is my passion. I love it. It's so exciting to see what they do with the information that they've learned. So yeah, a cup of content. I am everywhere as a cup of content, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, like you'll find us everywhere. Just not, I, I am on Snapchat, but it's just cause we follow our kids. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I know. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have to wind this up today. We, I think yeah. we're gonna we're gonna revisit that okay. earlier suggestion about maybe a once a month highlight sure. of, of yeah, a cup of content and uh, content and SEO and bring it in and hard here mm-hmm. to the Aaron Strayer show and what that looks like. And oh my gosh, you guys, Kim Bolsma, SEO bra, visual. <laughs> She seriously, she seriously, people, is off the charts amazing. Her knowledge is far beyond anything that she's even laid out for us today. That 14-day free trial, it is yours. It's in the comments. I dropped it there for you. If you want to go back and replay to get all the letters in the right order, you can do that too. We'd love it. Hang out with Kim. Go hang out. Watch her coffee break and her coffee and video on IGTV hang out with her. She is a massive, 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 like a ginormous cup of information. And she's just so amazing to spend time with. So if you want your, if you want your, to produce content left and right, if you want your content to soar and hit like massive numbers with your SEO and you want your, you know, your website to actually be found, you get to hang out with Kim. So thank you all for being here on the Aaron Strayer show. Kim, please come back again and spend time with us. Everybody that was here with us, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. This has been so fun. And I so have been looking forward to this. <laughs> it's like girl power. It's like the best. I know. It's like the best. Yeah. So everybody, yes. thank you so much for spending time with us this afternoon. We'll see you right back here soon on the Aaron Strayer. So take care. <laughs>